Hey guys, Cruz here. Welcome back to TPPI or Test Pack Please Ignore. Alright, so in the last episode we were doing some things and whatnot. We made a dark nexus. And uh, in this episode we are going to start working on that little mob farm that we were talking about last episode as well. Um, I did a little bit of work off camera, not a whole lot. Um, I just uh, kind of dug this out. And I'm not sure, I might need to make it a little bit bigger in here. But um, I think this will be alright for now. Actually, you know what? I am going to go ahead and just make it one wider. Like right there here right there that should be fine um, I'm hoping none of the mobs get stuck back here but we can go ahead and put some conveyor belts on the sides here to direct them towards the middle um, but yeah what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put I I'm gonna put the spawner in here like in the middle and then let's go ahead and go one one more back just to give us a little bit more space um, all right yeah so the plan is I'm gonna have the spawner here or somewhere I can like uh, raise it up one or something like that put conveyor belts underneath this entire thing and uh, conveyor belts on the side and uh, the mobs are going to be pushed all the way to right here where this nexus is and the nexus is going to suck the essence right out of them so that's the plan I hope it works um, and that's what we're going to be working on in this episode today so let's go ahead and head inside let's actually I'm gonna go ahead and keep the stone on me for now in case I need it um, let's go ahead and start making some of these conveyor belts uh, they're really easy to make. It's just uh, three rubber, some redstone, and some iron. That'll give you 16 of these conveyor, belt, conveyor belts. So I'm going to go ahead and craft up. Let's just do an entire stack of them. Um, if we have leftovers, that's fine. Um, I'm not too worried about it. They're really, really cheap. So now I just have to figure out exactly... Like if I set that down... Okay, they probably do need a redstone signal in order to work. Uh, so that makes sense. But that's no problem. Um, we can We can get that going. Um, I actually need uh, the redstone signal now, just so I can see which direction these guys are. These guys are going to be going. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a redstone signal. Um, so let's just uh, let's grab some redstone torches, maybe some redstone, something like that. And we'll figure this out. All right. So, oh, good. What the heck? <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you, Nexus. Okay, let's go ahead and throw some torches in here just so that doesn't happen again. Um, Alright, so... Let's just go ahead and try this out. We'll just test it out. Um, okay. Oh. Oh, okay. They are working. I'm, I'm dumb. I just have... Uh, it's the Optifine that makes it look like they're not working. So let me go ahead and mess with something real quick here. Yeah, I talked about this in my last episode, too. Um, animations. Item animated on... No, it's still not, uh, still not working. That's strange. All right, let's uh, let's try something else. Video, oops, animations. Yeah, everything's on. T textures animated. Still nothing. Oh, huh, that's very strange. But they they are working, so that's fine. So I think they need to go this way. So if I put them down like this, yeah, that that'll work. And I think, oh, man, kind of a pain. Well, this, yeah, that'll push us towards that, which is perfect. That's exactly what I want. So let's go ahead and line the sides with that. This might be overkill, but uh, you know what? Better safe than sorry. Okay, so if the mobs spawn like over here, yeah, it'll push them towards this. And eventually they will get pushed out here. So I need to go ahead and add a couple more. Just to make sure they get out here. There we go. And I'll go ahead and... Um, let's see, can I, can I get in hover mode real quick? Oh yeah, it doesn't actually hover. Alright, well that should be fine right there. So I do want to replace this with stone though, just to make it look a little nicer. You know what, we could actually go ahead and... Might as well. Alright, we have seven conveyors left over. Okay, so this should be fine, I'm, I would imagine. I mean... Right, let's get out of the way here. Okay, so... I want the spawner to be, like, right around... here. Uh, maybe one... I'll, I'll have it, like, right there or something. I'm thinking that might work. Um, so let's go ahead and get in our bag here. We'll grab the spawner. Alright. 
All right, and we're going to go ahead and place this guy right there. Okay. So let's grab that torch. We'll grab that torch. And there goes the skeleton. Yeah, of course he's going to shoot us. But then he's going to get pushed right out there into the nexus. And he's going to get sucked up. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, now... Hmm. The spawn rate for that is, is pretty low. Um, I wonder. I have an idea. <laughs> They're floating in midair. That's kind of cool. Um, I have an idea. First, let me get out of hover mode. I wonder if we put some of those blackout curtains there. Well, I don't know if the mobs will be able to go through them or not. But uh, that would definitely help it uh, it help darken it up a little bit. So let's go ahead and try that. See if that works. It might. It's worth a try, at least, you know. Come on. Damn it. Hello, skeleton. Oh, you bastard. Alright, let's see if we can just kind of... There we go. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to work or not, like I said, but... It's definitely worth a shot. And I don't think we can place it here because, the, yeah, the conveyor belts. But that should kind of make it a little darker in there, I think. Still a little bit of light getting in there. I'm not really sure if I can do anything about that. Um, but yeah, it should be... I mean, they are spawning, so that's good. It's working. But um, let's see if it... Can they go through? Well, they kind of can. Uh, the Nexus can still grab them, so that's fine. As long as the Nexus can grab them. Nice. So this thing is gathering all kinds of uh, essence. That's amazing. Alright, now, I don't even really have a use for the Dark Nexus as of right now. Um, I don't have any spells to make that require that, but, you know, it was just uh, future-proofing, I guess, if you will. Now, let's go ahead and... Oops, let's go ahead and put a lot of that stuff away. Let's go over here, because I, I think in the last episode I leveled up, so I got... Oh, no, okay, I, all I have is one green point. So, um... I could do this magic mage posse one, but I'm not really sure exactly what that does. Um, let's check out some of our other stuff. Utilities. I can do telekinesis. That might be kind of neat. Hmm. Hey, we got all kinds of stuff here. Um, let's check out defense. Summon leap. Yeah, we can't really do any of these. We can do dispel. We can do life tap. I, I'm not really interested in that yet. Uh, offense, what do we have? Probably nothing. Oh. Ignition. <clears throat> Blizzard, Star Strike, Firestorm, Forge, Ignition. Forge. Hmm, that's interesting. Kind of curious. Uh, maybe we should go ahead and just save our point for now uh, instead of spending it. Is this guy almost done? Man, so many cows. So little time. <laughs> Where's our sword? There it is. Okay, what we can do is i go ahead and kill some of these cows again. Just to thin the herd. Because there's a bunch of them here. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Alright, let's grab all this stuff. Um, 24 leather, we just got 49 stakes. So yeah, quite a bit. We're doing pretty good on stakes and leather. <clears throat> so I, I am going to go ahead and... I turned this off in the last episode, but I went ahead and turned it back on. Uh, now I think I'm going to go ahead and turn it off again. Oh, we get just got more stakes. All right, and more leather. All right, so let's go ahead and toss that. All right, we'll go ahead and top off our sword, top off our pickaxe, and top off our hammer. There we go. All charged up. Let's go ahead and put the hammer back. And head out here and just kind of check this thing out again. See if it's doing anything neat. Doesn't seem like it's. Uh, spawning them very quickly. But, I mean, that's to be expected. It's just a vanilla spawner. Um, now, I wonder if Rotary Craft is in this. I'm not really sure. Let's check. I don't think it is. No, it sure isn't. I was going to say we could put one of those uh, mob mob uh, spawner... Oh, I can't remember what they're called, but they pretty much they increase the spawn rate of uh, vanilla spawners. But, uh, yeah, that's not in here, so... Can't really do anything about that. But... Um, Mine Factory Reloaded is in here, so we could possibly do um, the mob spawners, the auto spawners. Auto spawner. Let's see, here it is right here. Um, but we need mob essence for that, and we don't really have any set up. But we could use that 
uh, spawner out there to collect quite a bit of this mob essence. Um, oh, that's pretty expensive. Uh, emerald wise. Actually, you know what? It's really not, because I've just remembered this villager over here that we captured uh, trades uh, emeralds for 14 wool, so yeah, does he have anything else? Yeah, that's the last trade. I went ahead and traded with him this, 10 gravel and an emerald for this for 5 flint, which I know is a total ripoff, but I just wanted to unlock his next trade to see what it was, and it sucks too. It's, you know, an emerald for 7 cooked chicken. So yeah, um, I'm keeping him around just because the wool trade that's, it, we have tons of sheep around, so it's uh, wool is pretty easy to come by. Um, let's go ahead and start smelting this stuff up. I forgot that I pulverized it. All right, just some iron and some tin and whatnot. So we'll get that smelting up. And um, all right, guys, I will bring you back here in a few minutes. All right, guys, here we are. We're back. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make a book and quill. <clears throat> oh, yeah, we have tons of books. I forgot that I raided the, that village over there that we found a couple episodes ago. <clears throat> Stole a bunch of their books. So let's go ahead and make a book and quill. Actually, we could go probably go ahead and make a couple. Uh, I think I'm running a little low on ink, though, yeah. So let's just go ahead and make, like, three of these guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, we'll go ahead and... Do I have any store? I do have one stored. Um, we'll go ahead and store these here. The other spells and whatnot. But we're going to take one, and I just want to kind of see uh, what kind of spells I can make. Um, we do have this binding thing, I, which I forgot about until just now. I'm not really sure how to utilize it as of right now, though. So I'll go ahead and wait on that. So let's see, heal, rift. I'm not sure what that does either. Um, attract, that's the magnet one, which I can't seem to get to work. Um, maybe it's because, hold on, let me check. Let me check the magnet thing. Oh, spells, da, 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 magnet, magnet one, okay. Maybe, is it like a touch? Self. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it can't be... Maybe it's got to be a projectile uh, magnet. Hmm. It's worth a shot. I think this guy's grown. Yep, there we go. Let's go ahead and replant the ender lily seed. All right, let's go. Let's try that. I'm kind of curious. Uh, it might be a waste of a spell, but that's worth a shot. So let's do projectile attract. And I don't want to use color because all that does is change the color of the spell, which is kind of a waste. Um, so yeah, um, and maybe I should do uh, projectile for this too, uh, for harvest plants, because remember we couldn't get that to work either for some odd reason. But uh, okay, let's go ahead and just try this. Um, we'll call it magnet. We'll just we'll call it magnet one, even though we already have a magnet one book. That's fine. Uh, magnet one. All right. Now let's go see what we're ooh, essence. Nice. Um, let's see what we're gonna need to uh, craft this guy up. In the meantime, we can also toss some of this stuff away. Alright. Alright, so Blank Rune, Ventium Dust, Arrow, Snowball, Black Rune, Iron Ingot, Spell Parchment. So, we're going to need to make up a couple more runes. Let's go ahead and make ten of those guys. So, we're going to need two of these. We're going to need another ink. Ventium dust. We're gonna need an iron ingot. Oops. Uh, do I have any snowballs in here? Yes. All right. What else do we need? Uh, an arrow and spell parchment. Okay. Got plenty of arrows. And we're gonna need some stick and paper. There we go, make our spell parchment. There we go, now we should be able to craft up this spell. It's a pretty easy spell. Um, let's go ahead, oh, we need to make the blank rune. Or the black rune, sorry. Um, go ahead and get that out of the way, we'll get that out of the way. Let's put all this, all the stuff we can on our hotbar here. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's go out here and craft this bad boy up. Hopefully it works. Um, if not, whatever. But hopefully it works. Alright, so let's start with the blank rune. Then the ventium. Then the arrow. Snowball. Black rune. Iron ingot. Spell parchment. Alright, nice. Now hopefully this thing works. Um, 
Let's see, magnet. Is there a... There's not really any magnet -y looking pictures that I can see. Um, let's just use that, whatever. That'll be fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our spell book down here. We'll go ahead and toss this in our spell book. Now let's try this out. It might work, it might not work, who knows. Hmm. Alright, well, it launches something, which is uh, neat, I guess. Um, but it's not really doing anything. It's not really attracting anything to me. Very strange. Very, very, very strange. Okay, I'm probably doing something wrong. Um, yeah. I just want to try it on something else. Uh, like that, maybe? No. Yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm doing wrong. Um, it does seem to be working as far as, like, uh, I can see a projectile coming out, but, I mean, that's about it. Um, I don't know, maybe it's just not meant to be a projectile spell. Um, who knows? Well, we'll take it off the hotbar. We'll, we'll go ahead and keep it on us for now. Alright, let's go ahead and put away this stuff. Put away that. We'll bring that back down. Alright, let's go ahead and eat a potato. Because we're getting kind of hungry. Alright, so let's check and see how many ender pearls I have. I'm just curious. We have 18. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Um, I want to start making things. Uh, I need a ton of ender pearls though. I want to make tesseracts and stuff like that. I mean, it's not a necessity by any means, but um Okay, that's full of energy. It's not a necessity or anything, but it would definitely be handy. Um all kinds of stuff require ender pearls. Uh these golden lassos require ender pearls. Uh I mean, you name it. It <laughs> probably requires an ender pearl. But um yeah, that's unfortunate about that spell. Let's um What else do we have here? Binding. That's now. That's something I kind of want to mess with, but I don't know how to get it to work yet. So uh, hmm. I'll have to do some research on that. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it there for this episode, you guys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, yeah, if you guys can let me know what I'm doing wrong with these spells, this magnet spell and the harvest spell, uh, please let me know uh, because I'm I don't really know what to do. I I haven't watched any videos on it. I haven't watched any tutorials on it or not, and I kind of don't want to. Uh, I was hoping to be able to figure out figure it out on my own. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, that's not working out so well. But uh, yeah, if you guys could tell me what to do, uh, that'd be great, and I'd really, really appreciate it. And um, yeah, uh, stay tuned for the next episode. I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, yeah, stay tuned. All right, talk to you guys later.